Hey everybody, Brian back with you here on Carlson Adventures. Uh, today I'm out at Charles C. Dean Wilderness here in Indiana, just a little south of Bloomington. Um, definitely one of my favorite places to go to in here in Indiana. Just going out for a quick solo overnighter, a little winter camping. Um, supposed to be 44, 45 degrees today and a low of 24 tonight. So uh, not too bad, but definitely cold enough to call it winter camping. Um, so yeah, just going out to the Peninsula Trail tonight. Uh, for those of you been out here, you know what a great spot that is. But uh, one thing I wanted to talk about, if you notice my backpack, sorry about the sun there. If you notice my backpack, I've got a orange vest on it. It's because today is the opening day of uh, deer season here in Indiana, or gun season. So uh, I want to be a little safety minded. I waited till mid afternoon to hike out so I didn't disturb any of the hunters trying to hunt or anything this morning. And uh, uh, although I'm not hunting, I'm not required to wear a vest, but hunters are. And I figure I've hunted just about all my life and I know that, you know, better safe than sorry to wear that. So don't be mistaken as a deer. But uh, we're going to get out here and got some. Uh, New equipment to try out. I've got a new Nemo tensor insulated uh, sleeping pad I've used one time, but it didn't get very cold at night. So we're going to uh, try to get that out tonight and see how that does. All right, yeah. So like I was saying, I came up with kind of on a campsite there, had a big group of hunters. And so I stopped filming for a second, but yeah, I've got the new Nemo insulated tensor that I'm gonna try out tonight. Uh, it's supposed to get down to 24 degrees. So we'll try that out. They claim it's good to 10 to 20 degrees is kind of their temperature rating on it. Nemo is kind of weird. They don't, um, they don't really give an R value like a lot of the other companies do. But I had it out. I think I got about 38, 39 degrees last time and I was fine. So we'll try that out and uh, hopefully it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Clear right now. So I'm just going to get some good shots walking out here to the lake and uh, hopefully have a great hike out. All right, well, I'm about, I don't know, a mile, mile and a half back from the lake. I'm just starting to see some of the damage that happened this spring. We had a lot of heavy rains here in Indiana, which caused the soil to get uh, really loose and wet, soft. And a lot of the trees were just blown down from uh, heavy winds and stuff like that. But they also had a tornado run through this area. And I'm guessing I'm just starting to come upon that area where the tornado went through. But uh, it's crazy. It just kind of topped all these trees off and just right through the middle of the woods here it's totally ripped all the trees right off the tops but uh, this is the first really big spot that i've seen from the tornado damage <clears throat> they actually had the whole dean wilderness area closed down from about mid-spring to i don't know middle to late summer because uh they had crews in here trying to clean the trails off and they're worried about some of the bigger trees falling because of the wet soil so uh Pretty, pretty crazy to uh, be as familiar with this area as I am and come upon this part of the trail and it's just literally a tornado went through and just tore it to pieces. So uh, yeah, pretty crazy. Well, made it to camp, made it to the lake and the first campsite that I know of that I was wanting to stay at 
walk down there and there was somebody there surprisingly it's the only person i've seen out here on the peninsula seen five different day hikers on my way in but uh guy was set up for a stay i guess he had a big old kayak and a big giant tent set up in that but uh this ain't a bad view for the night hopefully get some good uh sunsets um gigantic fire pit if any of you've ever been out here you know some people put some work into these fire pits out here so maybe i'll get a fire going tonight and a big bonus picnic table i've never been down this far to the uh, to this campsite i don't know how long this picnic table's been here but uh that was pretty hard to pass up so uh this is home for the night i'm gonna get my uh, tent set up and uh, get some firewood collected in that for the night and enjoy the scenery all right well got everything set up got some firewood collected that. i thought i'd go over my uh, setup for tonight because some of you know that i'm primarily a hammock camper um i have a tent obviously don't use it a whole lot. It is a two-person Kelty Grand Mesa, I do believe. They say backpacking tent. A little heavy, four pounds, but uh, this thing's bomb-proof. I've had it out a couple different times, and it's always been great. I've had it in some rough weather and that, but um, primarily bought it, brought it just so I could try out the new sleeping pad. Um, so I'll give you guys a look inside here. That's the uh, Nemo Tensor. Like I said, it's insulated, rated down between 10 to 20 degrees. So that's my setup tonight. I just got a little Coleman 15 degree uh, uh, little mummy bag. You know, if you're going to carry a four pound tent, why try to go ultralight, right? Normally I would uh, use my hammock gear 10 degree quilt in weather like this. But uh, the problem I'm having using it on a tent, or on a sleeping pad rather, is uh, I didn't by the uh, sleeping pad straps that come with them so you know you roll over and kind of get cold spots and drafts and stuff so i may end up getting um some of the uh, sleeping pad straps just so i can use that because it's quite a bit lighter than that sleeping bag i think a sleeping bag's close to three pounds or right at three but uh until then you know it was only a five mile hike and no real worry about weight or anything so uh yeah got the uh, camp set up gonna get a fire going here in a little bit get some dinner in me and uh sit here on the lakeside watch the sun go down All right, there y'all go. Traditional hiker dinner. Got the old mountain house out, the chicken and dumplings. It's one of my favorites, and a little hot chocolate. Gonna sit here and uh, enjoy some dinner. Wait for that sun to go down. It should be a pretty epic uh, sunset tonight. All right, well, I've ate dinner, had my hot chocolate, got all my camp chores done. And uh, just chilling by the fire here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop recording for the night. I'll probably start back up in the morning 
I'm gonna turn my phone off. I somehow tripped over the cord. I had the phone plugged into my uh, portable charger, my RAV power, and messed up the uh, end of it where it plugs into my phone. At least I hope it's the cord and not my phone. So I'm uh, gonna head and call it a night and uh, save some battery. We'll see y'all in the morning. All right, everybody, it's the next morning. <clears throat> And I uh, just had breakfast, got the camp all packed up and everything back in the pack. And uh, getting ready to do the five miles out. Had a uh, really relaxing night last night, sitting by the fire. Just There's a couple of people out here, but uh, <clears throat> hey, they were pretty far away on each side of me. So pretty much had this whole spot to myself last night. So that was pretty enjoyable. Uh, the Nemo Tensor Pad was a success. That thing is super comfortable. The only problem I had with sleep last night was... Um, <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't got my voice yet either. But uh, I guess I was sleeping on just a little bit of a slope, just ever so slightly, and with the bag and everything inside the bag and on top of the mat. Uh, I slid a little bit. It was kind of fighting out last night. But other than that, the pad did great. That was super warm, super comfortable. So that's two nights in a row slept on it. Uh, total success. <clears throat> so with that, I'm going to get on out the road here and uh, hopefully get to my truck and my uh, charger that I have in my truck will work. Hopefully I didn't break my phone last night. But uh, if you live in Indiana, or even if you don't, you just get out this way. Uh, Charles City Wilderness is a great place to go. Um, <clears throat> easy trails, it's just beautiful out here. So with that, I'm gonna get off here. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing. I uh, just got over 100 subscribers a couple weeks ago. So thanks to all of you that have subscribed already. And uh, thanks to you uh, that it will subscribe. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy these videos. And every time you guys subscribe or like, hey, that just gives me, you know, the uh, gumption or willpower, fire, whatever you want to say in my belly to get out here and, uh, you know, video some more of these uh, adventures for you guys. So with that, we'll see you all in the next one.